Hey kids, Flexing Teacher Weber here. I hope you're having a good day. In grade six math, we've been studying place value and we've been looking at small numbers, uh, numbers below one whole, uh, specifically decimal numbers. And we have been focusing on representations of those decimal numbers, like actual physical representations using base 10 blocks. Um, this is something kids would have done with larger numbers in elementary school. So, um, the first place value we've been looking at is the tenths place value, um, which we represent with this orange base 10 block. And we say that's the decimal zero and one tenth or the fraction one tenth. And the second place value you've been looking at is the hundredths place value represented by this blue base 10 block. Um, and it is the second decimal place. We say that's one hundredth or the fraction one over a hundred. Um, those have been the two place values we've been looking at. Um, and the idea of course is that 10 of these hundredths fit inside one of these tenths, right? There's 10 of those hundredth strips in one of those tenths. The idea of our base 10 number system. Um, everything is in groups of 10, right? To go from one place value to the next, it's always a factor of 10. Um, so what we started to do is represent those numbers in different forms. So let's look at some of these examples. So what we have here is we have two orange base 10 blocks. And to represent that in standard form, what I have the kids do is I have them write the one spot, write the decimal, and then make a space for the tenth and a space for the hundredths. The first place value after the decimal is the tenths. This is the hundredths. And we have two tenths. So we place the digit two in the tenths place value spot. Now we have zero hundredths, so we can put a zero in the hundredths or even better, we don't have any hundredths. So there would be our number in standard form. Now we can also represent that number in words. We say that is two tenths. We say the amount of that value that we have and we say the place value of the last digit. So we have two of them and the last place value is in the tenths. So we would say two tenths. That's how we would write that in words. And then in expanded form, we'd want to show what this place value looks like and how much of it we have. So what we have is we have the tenths. So I'm going to represent this as a fraction. We have the tenths. And we have two groups of those tenths. So we'd say two times one over ten or two groups of one tenth. When you're putting the number in expanded form, you're representing its place value and you're showing how much of that place value you have. Let's look at another example. So here's our second picture. And I'm going to say that I have zero ones. There's my decimal. And then I'm gonna have a place value for the tenths and a place value for the hundredths. Now, if I look in the picture, I have one, two, three tenths. So I put three in the tenths place value. And I have two of the hundredths. So I put two in the hundredths place value. And there's my number in standard form. Now, how do I say that in words? Well, what I do is I just focus on the number and I say 32. I start off, ignore the decimal point, just say 32. So I'll write that part out. I'll say 32. And then what I say is the place value of the last digit. The last digit is in the hundredth spot. So I say 32 hundredths. Like so. Um, and then for expanded form, I actually have two place values here. I have, first of all, I have the tenths. And I have 
three of those tenths. So I'm going to say three groups of one over ten, or three times one tenth. Plus, I have the hundredths place value as well. Let's leave myself a little more room. And how many of those hundredths do I have? I have two of them. So I'll say two times one hundredth. So there's my number in expanded form, three groups of one tenth, two groups of one hundredth. That's going to be the focus of what we're working on for the next little while. Um, now what we'll focus on just first is just focus on putting numbers in standard form. We'll actually do this in parts. We'll focus first on standard form, then words, then expanded form. So let's do some extra practice with just standard form today. So here we have another picture, and what I'm always going to do is I'm always going to have the kids put a spot for the ones, the decimal point, a space for the tenths, and a space for the hundredths. They also have a place value chart um, attached to their desk, uh, and I'll send that home in an email as well. So it's good to have that place value chart there to remind them of the place values. Um, ones, tenths, hundredths. Now let's count how many tenths we have. We have four tenths. So I'll put a four in the tenth spot. We have one hundredth. So I'll put a one in the hundredth spot. Um, and I have zero holes, so we'll have a zero placeholder in the hole spot. And we'd say that number is 41 hundredths. But right now, we're just focusing on writing this in standard form. Let's look at another one. Okay, so I'm going to start off before I do anything. I'll put a place for my holes. I'll write my decimal point, a blank for the tenths, and a blank for the hundredths. Now take a look here. Um, for the tenths, I have zero of them. I don't have any orange base 10 blocks. So I have zero tenths. That zero matters. We have to have a zero place value in the tenth spot indicating that there are no tenths. That, that zero placeholder matters. Now this base 10 block is the hundredth. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hundredths. And once again, I don't have any whole numbers, so zero holes. And the way we would say this number, we would just say the number 8, and then say the place value of the last digit, so 8 hundredths. 8 hundredths. Some people might say 0 and, because we always say and for a decimal point, 0 and 8 hundredths. But we'll focus on uh, writing numbers and words another time. Let's look at another example. So here we have the number written in words. It says 9 tenths, and let's write this in standard form. So once again, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's put a blank for the ones, a blank for the decimal, a blank for the tenths, and a blank for the hundredths. Well, I don't have any holes, so zero. I have 9 tenths, so 9. And I don't have any hundredths, so I could write a zero in the hundredths, or I could just write this as zero and nine tenths, like that. So I either have zero and ninety hundredths, or zero and nine tenths. It's the exact same amount. Let's look at one more. Sixty-eight hundredths. So once again, oops. I'll put a space for my ones, I'll put a decimal, I'll put a space for my tenths, and a space for my hundredths. 68 hundredths, 68 hundredths. Well, that must mean I have a six in the tenths, I have an eight in the hundredths. Doesn't say I have any holes, so I have zero holes. And there's my 68 hundredths. Oh, check this one out. So. Now we have a number written in expanded form. Look at this. We have the tenths, the hundredths. So same idea every time. I'll write a space for my ones, decimal, space for my tenths, space for my hundredths. 
Well, I have zero holes. It says I have six tenths. So six and the tenths. And it says I have four groups of one hundredth. So four and the hundredths. And there's my number in standard form. I would say that is 64. And the place value of the last digit is the hundredths. So 64 hundredths. Do one more here. This one's also an expanded form. It's eight hundredths. Space for the ones, space for the decimal, zero, uh, pardon me, the tenths and the hundredths. Well, I have zero holes. I have zero tenths, but I have eight in the hundredths. And uh, as I think about it now, we already did that question a few minutes ago, right? So there's eight hundredths. Again, writing all these numbers in standard form. All right. So that gives you a good idea of what we're studying right now in, in grade six mathematics. We're studying place value and focusing on writing the numbers in different term in different forms, specifically today, focusing on writing numbers in standard form. That's all for now. I hope that helps. Flexing Teacher Weber out.